Look at us. It's like we're in a Norman Rockwood painting. Morning, Xander. You sleep okay? I did not, Emily. Playing for class president. A lot on my mind. Bad news, buddy. Running's the easy part. Did you have to deal with someone going around school tearing down your campaign posters? Did you tell your teacher about it? Yes, but she's in cahoots with my opponent. It's a sham election, Emily. This is how democracies crumble. Oh, it can't be that bad, can it? That's what they said about the Bolsheviks. Look, buddy, it seems unfair, but in politics, you gotta be tough. Sometimes people don't like you. Did you see those protesters outside? They hate me. Well, they don't really hate you. One of their signs said, we hate you, Mr. President. But you're awesome. You are not gonna be Jessica. She's so popular. And your hair smells like frosting. Marigold, why aren't you supporting your brother? Because I don't like his dance while touching my stuff. But Jessica's a mouthpiece for the establishment. At least she didn't hand out a 300-page manifesto. It's called a Xanifesto. Hey, where'd Skip go? Xander's teacher is actually taking sides, do you? I hope not. And Xander does exaggerate. He accused his math teacher of habeas corpus violations. I'm gonna check in at the school just to make sure. Honey, I don't want us to be helicopter parents. Although we do have access to a helicopter. I just think it's okay to exercise a little restraint so the kids learn to figure out stuff on their own. Well, that's easy for you to say. He's always been your son. You don't get how much step parents have to step things up to get acceptance from their stepkids. This could be a step in the right direction. One too many? Is that what this is about, honey? Because the kids love you. Well, I've got Skip locked down. Marigold, I'm cautiously optimistic. Becca is my white whale. But with Xander, I feel like I'm close to something. He needs to know I have his back. All right, just keep it cool. What does that mean? I think you have a tendency to go overboard sometimes. I know. I love that about me. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Dale Gilgris has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Dale Gilgris is doing his best. Skip Gilchrist is here. I wish. Uh, why did I wear a wig that looks like my normal hair? Protesters, I took this form to walk among you. I can no longer listen to you slander my father. He's a good man. He's killing the environment, Skip. And you know why? He's in bed with the auto industry. Yeah. Yeah, really? Because last time I checked, he was in bed with my hot stepmom. Well, then why do his transportation policies heavily favor road projects over mass transit? I do. Ma'am, is there a name I should clear for security? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a few just give me a sec. Having friends over while I hide from the press. Hi, it's Becca. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to come over and hang... Oh, grad school in Boston. Oh, that's so cool. Good for you. MIT. Yes! A tank. Oh, a think tank. Ow! Tenure! That was fast. A think tank? Oh, a tank tank. Thank you for your service. Me? Well, you know, just setting stuff up and knocking it down. So, no names to clear? Thank you for meeting with me, Mrs. Stitchcomb. Just so we're clear, I never give anyone any special treatment. Oh, no, of course not. We expect to be treated like everyone else. I mean, I didn't even vote for your husband. I don't know how that's relevant, but the important thing is, you voted. I donated a lot of money to his opponent. Anyway, I am here to talk about Xander. If you're going to ask if Jessica's responsible for tearing down his posters, that's wild speculation. We would never do anything like that. I'm sorry, did you say we? I'm helping her with her campaign. Well, I'm just wondering... Is that fair? Xander has an unfair advantage. You're a political consultant, and your husband is president. He really is the president, so there's no need for air quotes. Well, until he limits my freedom of speech, I'll continue to use them. Thank you for your time. You want to win this thing? Yeah. Good, because you're either leaving here as president or in a fight. Tell what I went too far. I liked it. Dale Pelusier! Dale Pelusier! Dale Pelusier! You've got to be kidding. Dale Pelusier! 
you doing out here? Making sure my future half-Asian child never says, Daddy, remember trees? Do you even know what you're protesting about? Yes, I do. My dad is awesome in a lot of ways, but he is way less awesome when it comes to forward-leaning transportation policies. You know how stressful my job is. I can't physically grow a goatee anymore. So please, come inside before you make a scene. Okay. Thank you. Candidates for office will face off at a noon rally. This just in? Wednesday is pizza day. I'm still at the school helping Xander. No, I am not going overboard. All right, I love you too. All right, War Room. First order of business, we need to change the name of the campaign committee. What's wrong with the Xander men? How about just the X-Men? I can't believe we didn't think of that. Ooh, right there. These are our voting blocks. The key for us is going to be the AV Club. Control the media, control the message. I'm not really good at talking to children. Xander, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone and go out and talk to your classmates because the competitor is out there getting the boys to vote for her by showing them her bra strap. Isn't that right, Sam? Dude! Okay, now let's hear the speech she wrote. We are under the tyranny of a polygamous education system. All right, I'm just going to have to stop you right there. Maybe we start warmer with something like friends of Darby Prep. I stand before you not as a political candidate, but as a concerned student. Hmm, isn't that work? I can't believe how great everybody's doing. Why didn't they make more loser friends? Oh my God, I'm their loser friend, aren't I? This is bananas. I should be heading off to Yale Law, but I had to defer because my uterus is a matter of national gossip. The point is, if I were pregnant right now, I would be like, just killing it. You know, life wise. Wow, I gotta tell you, it feels really good to just get this off my chest. It is kind of weird that you have to just stand there and listen to me. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it's kind of your job to just listen to me. Thank you for this caucus. Mm. This is not a caucus, and I only have a few minutes. I'll keep this caucus brief. So I was speaking to the protesters outside, and according to them, the president's budget is a train robbery because it robs for mass transit, which is both a clever play on words and something I agree with. Skip, yes, we want to invest in public transit. But as we do, we can't let our roads crumble, can we? No. No, that would be so awful. I appreciate their cause, but as president, I need to look at the big picture. Boom, mind blown. Thank you for setting me straight, Dad. No problem. I'm just glad to see you take an interest in my work. We can have chats like this anytime. I like that. P.S. I've said a lot of crazy, some might say vicious things about you out there, and I'm so sorry. Apology accepted. I would just steer clear of YouTube for a week. You know, just avoid top videos and stuff. I mean, I had a plan. Law school, then an appellate clerkship, then a Supreme Court clerkship, then two years at a big law firm or the Justice Department, then maybe I take a run at Dad's old congressional seat, you know, depending on the political climate in Nevada at the time, of course. I mean, I can't predict everything. But then, <laughs> the only reason that I am pregnant is because I had one dumb fling after my boyfriend dumped me. And I really thought we might get back together. I mean, once you go press secretary, you never go back, am I right? Oh, um, now I've said too much. You won't tell anyone, will you? No, I won't. That's right. It's a secret service. <laughs> Becca, my shift is up, so I'm gonna head out. Uh, is that our time? Wow. I feel like we really made good progress today. Do you really think that you are gonna be president? Heck yes. And why do you... The AV Club. They're doing a puff piece. This is a real setback for us. Hey, Marigold. What's up? Good. Nothing. Hey, Jessica, you're talking to me. Of course I am, silly. Why wouldn't I? So, it seems like your brother's starting to kick my butt. Yeah, he's small but crafty. I just wish I knew what else Sandra had planned for his campaign. Huh. Yeah. You probably know, right? I mean, you guys live in the same house. 
Oh no, he is way too paranoid to keep any of that stuff laying around. It's probably all buried in his locker somewhere. Marigold, you're a real friend. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi there, so sorry to interrupt the D circle. So I successfully met with the president. Yeah. Yes, yes, thank you for that applause. The president will not meet your demands, nor should he, for several reasons that I did not write down. But the important thing is, you were all personally denied by the president of the United States. Did you even ask your dad why he's defunding light rail? What about trolleys? What about trolleys? How was your day? Oh, you know, America. Mm. How was yours? Quiet. I ran a focus group of tweens for Xander's campaign and organized a tiny rapid response operation. They've gone a little overboard, but I don't think I did any harm. I'm pretty proud of my own little parenting victory with Skip. Oh, yeah? It's not often that I feel like I get through to him, but I think I really did this time. Tomorrow, we run! So, any plans for today? I think I might just stay in again. I've been hanging out with Sandy, my lead agent. You guys getting close? Mm, sort of. I mean, she hardly says anything, but I'm sure that she's, you know, bound by some rules. They say they have to stay professional or something. I'm super close with my guy. We talk all day. Pete's one of my best pals. The other day, he told me this joke about a rabbi and a priest. Or two priests, I don't remember. But the number was important to the joke. So she's choosing not to talk to me. You gotta check out this sandwich that he ate yesterday. Pete! <laughs> Future's at stake, and that's why we're fussing for trains and bikeways and some natural gas fussing. So get on up off your pennies. We're America's mass trannies. Thank you. Thank you. Kyle and I wrote that for all of you. For the struggle. Yeah, we should move to the streets, Wafer. Wait, hold up, hold up, Maxie, Sammy, Diego, hang on. Are we gonna let government take away our right to peacefully assemble? No, not today. It's just Friday's noon at two. Not a big deal. You shall not pass! Hey, just one more thing about the brief. Is that Skip? Skip is absolutely, totally a great guy who just cares too much is his problem. Screw it. Let's bring them all in. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. And now we'll hear a speech from our first candidate, Jessica Simons. Listen, I just want to thank you. Not as a political candidate, but as a concerned student. Concerned What's happening? She stole my speech. She didn't get it. We need someone to effectively convey our needs. Principal Hoopley. Marshall, fix your face. It's almost dirty flannel. All right, please. 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 Thank you. Welcome to the White House. Thank you very much for this caucus, Father. Still not a caucus. So, what can I do for you? Mr. President, we need more investment in mass transportation, specifically high-speed rail, which is our top priority. Mark makes a hell of a point. Hell of a point, Mark. Fast trains. Trains so fast, the world passes by in a blur, and boom, you're in Kansas, and you've never been there before. That's our top priority? What about light rail? Trolleys, man. Oh, God, enough of the trolleys. Yeah. Some internal dissent here. We should be talking about clean energy. Solar. Wind, soybeans, like edamame. We've had edamame. I'm supposed to be the spokesman. Spokesperson. I'm the spokesman. It's like a marketplace of ideas. Really. Believe it or not, this is actually not my worst meeting today. So on your ballot, remember, X marks the spot for Jessica. She can not even change the ending. This is just wrong. You don't have to go up there, Xander. Let's tell the principal what she did. No, I'm giving a speech. You don't have your speech. Actually, I don't have your speech. But I need to be tough, like Dad said. I'll figure something out. You're right. You got this. All I need is... Jessica, thanks for those rousing words. Sounds like someone got grown 
Mark Ryder speech. <laughs> but we don't need them to tell us what to think or what to say, do we? No. no. I know this because yesterday, thanks to some good advice, I did something I never do. I talked to some of you. April Patterson is a hall monitor. She just wants a new stash and for people to stop throwing things at her. Cody Jones is an average sixth grader. All he wants is for someone to explain to him the appeal of French kissing. And most of you want our school to have a soda machine. The administration says no. They say it's not healthy. But we need to learn to make choices for ourselves. What is this? Wedding rod? We know soda is bad for us. It's liquid poison turning us into a nation of sad fatsos. So we don't want a soda machine. We want what it represents. A proxy of individual responsibility. Do we not want this proxy? He's saying we should have a soda machine. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Soda, soda, soda. I will get you a soda machine. Today, we rock. Mm. Well, I'm glad we've all calmed down. You can thank the hot cocoa. It's not important whose idea that was. Look, I appreciate your passion and your patriotism, and I'm going to keep fighting for more mass transit, and I want you to keep pushing me, okay? Because I can take it. Some of those signs are pretty clever. <laughs> <laughs> People looking past their differences, discovering we're all human. We're all human. President Gilchrist, shake hands with America. Ah. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. I appreciate it. Thank you, um, guys. Sir, I don't mean to alarm you, but word got out about this little caucus. Marshall, it's not a caucus. Whatever you want to call it, there are 10,000 people outside demanding a meeting with you. Right. That's why we don't do this. It's a lot of people. Uh, how the hell are you going to shake all those hands? Not cool, Sandy. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I was spilling my guts to you, and you just sat there in silence. Like that! I thought it was some kind of rule, but it's not. Why didn't you want to talk to me? With all due respect, while you were complaining, all I could think was, wow, what awesome problems. You're a brilliant, beautiful 22-year-old girl who's going to do amazing things. And yeah, you're pregnant, but you're going to make that work too. And I'm 37 and single. That's probably not going to happen for me because men find me intimidating. But really, I'm just a strong, confident, broad-shouldered, statuesque, heterosexual woman who's looking for a man who can handle it. Wow. Yeah, wow. I get it. Thanks, Sandy. You're welcome. Do you ever think about maybe wearing your hair down? Do you think that would help? It might. Awesome speech. Why'd you tell him about the French kiss? <laughs> Great speech, Sander. I'm so proud of You're you. You're embarrassing me, Mom. He's never called me Mom before. My ex-husband left me for a man. I guess you have this to thank for your victory. Congrats, son. Thanks, Dad. So, how was your day? Mm, people don't understand the pressures of the job, the competing interests. I try to be honest, but the voters just hear what they want to hear. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Ain't that the truth? President Gilchrist? Yes? yes. It's bedtime. Nice, honey. We received a tip that implicates Jessica Simons in the break-in of Xander Gilchrist's locker. Footage of the break-in was captured by the school security cameras. We have reason to believe that Simons stole Gilchrist's speech. It is AV Club's policy not to reveal our sources, so the informant's identity may never be known. More as this story develops.